Welcome to Eucanic. Today here in Eucanic we have a 2019 Chevy Trax. On this Chevy Trax we have our check engine light is on on the dash and so we have an OBD2 scanner hooked up to be able to read that engine code to see what it is. With the uh, check engine light on the key is in the on position, the run position and now we can read the codes. So we're gonna uh, go to diagnostic from the home screen then we're going to pick the car, which is a GM vehicle. Then it'll come up. We can hit Smart VIN. Now it's going to communicate with the vehicle, come back with what the vehicle is. We just look to make sure that these things match what the vehicle is, and you can match the VIN number to know for sure. Then we hit Yes. Then we have the control modules or Quick Scan. Quick Scan will search the whole vehicle. In control modules, we can pick the individual module. So we want to just hit control modules because we want to just check the engine code at the moment. So we're checking the engine code, pick the 1.4 liter. We have an automatic transmission and we have four wheel drive and we're not equipped with the start stop function on this vehicle. So now it's communicating with the vehicle and it's going to come back and tell us what the DTC is. So then we hit the DTC, then we hit display it so we know what it is. And we have the intake camshaft position sensor. And that's a P0340 is what we have that is, is not functioning correctly. So we'll go to the engine, we'll, we'll locate that sensor, and then we'll go over the process of how you would replace that sensor. So this sensor here, the intake camshaft position sensor, is a sensor right here on the back uh, of the engine. We have the intake on the back side, we have the exhaust on the front side. So just to get a better visual on that, I'm going to move this air box up and out of the way so that we can have a better visual to know what we are looking at. So our air box is up and out of the way and now we have our sensor right there. This is a sensor that you need to um, pull the little safety tab back to unlock it and then you can be able to press, once you pull that tab back, press the clamp and it will unlock the clip. And then we need a size 10, well it's an E10 to undo this bolt and then we can remove this sensor. Yeah, loosen the bolt and now be able to twist it a bit to get it to break that surface resistance and then be able to just move it back and forth and be able to pull pull the sensor out. You take your new sensor and be able to reinstall uh, the sensor. Make sure that when the old one came out that the o-ring came out with it so that you're not putting other foreign material in there. There are more than one reason why this sensor could go bad, uh, off. Um, either the sensor itself has gone bad or the actual cam has gotten out of, um, out of function. Uh, and maybe some other things. But it's easy to start with the sensor and then work your way to do deeper research if you need to. So we have the sensor, replace that sensor, and you just by press it into place, then be able to tighten up this E10 bolt, make the electrical connection, put your air box back into the location, and then be able to clean or clear the code. connection has been made by we pressed it in then we press the safety lock portion in now we can put our air box unit back in these two sides go into the, the grommet location on the side of the fender that grommet down and then press these down into place tighten the two clamps up front here and hook up your hook up your mass airflow sensor connector. Hit this double lock on it, and you're you're good here in the engine bay. 
Now we'll go inside, clear out the code. So we're back in the vehicle with our OBD2 scanner hooked up still and the engine in, or the key in the, the run position. Now we can go ahead and erase that code, clear it because we did replace the sensor. Yes, that code has been cleared, it's clearing it right now. Hit OK. So it should be good. Back. Start the vehicle, double check that our check engine light has turned off and is clear. You can start it a few more times, drive it like normal for about a week or so, and if the light doesn't come back on, well then we know it was just a sensor. If the light does come back on before a week, or, or if it is the light comes back on for the same engine code, because you'll, you'll note your engine code. But if it comes back on for the same code, well then you're gonna need to be looking at something else where you may have to do some more um, definite internal work to fix the issue. Thanks for watching Eucanic, where you can be the mechanic.